Welcome back. In this video, we want to solve this question. It's coming from indices, the equations which involve the indices. So, as you can see right here, this is 4 to the power x plus 1, which is equal to 1 over 8. So, how do we solve this? Okay, so we first have to transform this part so that it is not a fraction anymore. So, how are we going to do that? So, we're going to do that, you know, by using one of the laws of indices and uh, any number which has been divided by one it means it has it had a negative power so in this case we expect eight to have been negative you know eight to the power negative one like this so you have to get rid of the negative by dividing by one okay so we're going to write it in this format so that we can solve the equation so easily so we cop the first part so the first part is for the power x plus one which is equals to and now we have eight to the power negative one okay good now for in order for us to solve this equation we need to make uh, these two sides of the equation to have the same basis okay so how are we going to do that uh, we can't make this one four to become the base of eight neither can we make eight to have the base of four so probably we must have other numbers so we find the uh, what number can we power uh, let's say 2 in this case to get 4 so we're going to see that uh, it's a 2 itself so then on top remember there is uh, the x plus 1 okay don't leave out that we need that okay then which is equals to the same 2 which we have there we're going to put it the other side and we say what number can we power 2 to get 8 and uh, that's a 3 and remember there is a negative 1 there don't leave it out Okay, so once you have the same bases, you cancel them out, and uh, we have remained with the, we have two, open bracket, we have x plus one, which is equals to negative three, obviously. So you multiply two with everything inside the brackets there. So two times x, we are getting the two x, and the two times positive one, we are getting the positive one, which is equals to negative three. So the one is going the other side. Okay, so we have two x is equals to negative three, and one goes that becomes the negative one. So we have two x is equals to negative three minus one, we are getting negative four. So for us to find x, you divide both sides by two, even there we divide the by 2 so 2 into you know 2x you remain with the x okay so continue here so remain with the x so we say let me just write like that so we say x is equals to 2 into negative 4 we are getting negative 2 thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and share the video and leave some comment in the comment section below and i'll be you know going to reply to your queries okay thank you so much